Hey guys, it's Emma and happy Tourette Syndrome Awareness Month. This month is really important to me because I've had Tourette since I was five years old. It's been like a huge part of my life and my identity. In this video, I'm going to answer some questions that you guys asked and then give you some resources that relate to Tourette Syndrome. The first question is, what advice would you give to anyone with Tourette's? And this is so vague and I love it. <laughs> I guess my advice would be to find your way to be comfortable with your disorder. Whether that be ticking loud and proud all the time or finding that at some times you need to mask your tics. It's up to you how to live your life and don't let anyone tell you different. Personally, I mask my tics when I'm in professional settings like job interviews where I feel like, oh, you know, maybe I don't want to make it super known that I have Tourette's yet. <laughs> but pretty much anywhere else, I just let them rip because that's me, baby. Take it or leave it. Question number two is who is your favorite Tourette syndrome advocate? <coughs> there are so many great advocates out there in the Tourette syndrome community that do so much for it. Um, but I'll try not to ignore the question because everyone who advocates is so great and does so much and it's just so hard to pick one person but I guess like if I really had to pick who my favorite Tourette syndrome advocate is um, let's drum roll probably Brittany Wolf. Um, I like her videos and I like what she does for the Tourette Syndrome community and she has a cool project out right now during Tourette Syndrome Awareness Month that if you follow her on like any of her social media, you'll be able to see where she like highlights different advocates in the community and tells you a bit about each of them and about their Tourette Syndrome, yada yada. It's great. <laughs> now on to resources. <sighs> So the first resource that I'll talk about is the Tourette Association of America. And this is probably the one that I'll elaborate on the most because it's the one I know the most about and the one that I take like the most advantage of for certain resources. They have all sorts of resources, including that they actually have a card that you can um, print off or get mailed to you that you can give to people that tells them that you have Tourette syndrome and what it is. And they also have a virus version of that card that helps especially if you have coughing, sniffling, those types of tics. The Tourette Association of America also has the Rising Leader Program and the Youth Ambassador Program. I'm part of the Rising Leader Program and it's wonderful. Last year we went to a training, both the Rising Leaders and the Youth Ambassadors in Florida and it was just, it was great. I've made a video about it before. I was super anxious the entire time, but I still had a great time. <laughs> I've learned so much being a Rising Leader and I've just been able to do so much more advocating as a Rising Leader as well. But yeah, you should really look into the Tourette Association of America and I'll put the links below for these association type things, yes. Next is NJCTS, which I believe is in New Jersey, hence the NJ part. <laughs> I actually used to write for them when I was younger and then, you know, things happened with school and I just kind of like stopped writing for them because they had a cool little part of their website where like people with Tourette's wrote, you know, about their personal experiences and stuff and I thought that was awesome. There's also Tourette Can Canada and Tourette's Action. Tourette Canada, obviously Canada. Tourette's Action I believe is in the UK. I just wanted to give you some worldly advice, give you places from all around the globe. <laughs> I will link those in the description as well. Another resource that is pretty fun actually is um, the Tourette Syndrome Discord called TikTok. Get it? Like tick tock, you tick and you talk. You can find this discord through r slash Tourette's on Reddit. During quarantine, I've been talking in it like a lot. <laughs> and it's just really nice to be able to talk to people who know what you're going through and kind of like understand. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna bring up today. There's all sorts of resources out there and all sorts of ways to educate yourself about Tourette syndrome and you know, be able to find ways to talk to other people with Tourette syndrome. And you know, as always, you can talk to me. <laughs> so you know, like maybe like, maybe comment, maybe subscribe whatever. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, Twitches. Bye!